right, here we go again. Let's now go into the little town of Moblitz that we left things off last time. Well, let's talk to people here. You came by a Baron Falls? Unbelievable, unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable. It's flowing like there's no tomorrow. Uh, it's like Vince McMahon in the commentary booth. You know, unbelievable, unbelievable. Only carrier pigeons link our village to the outside. Hmm. Kind of isolated folks here. Uh, you stop by the house up the far north? The guy there is a tad psycho. Uh -huh. <laughs> Threw his own kid out thinking it was a monster. Oh, is that a hint at the uh, feral boy we ran into earlier? I, I'm not sure. Uh, this region's called the Veld. Monsters from all over the world migrate here. Uh, the Veld. Uh, letters tell us that war has broken out. Yes, it has indeed. Sad but true. Uh, let's see. Let's see. A weapon shop. Let's see what you have. Help yourself. Mithril knife, mithril blade, mithril claw. Kotetsu! Oh, yep, yeah. well, let's buy one of those for uh, for Cyan. The claw already equipped. Uh, but I think the Mithril Claw is better than the other weapon that Saban has, the Knuckle. So I think I'm gonna get another one of these so I can have, you know, one in each hand. And uh, the rest are just downgrades. So let's see. Uh, yeah, he has Mithril claw, claw and Metal Knuckle, so let's change that up, because yeah, it's better. And, uh, then, Ashura! Uh, that's gonna be replaced by Kotetsu. I have no idea if those are, like, actual, like, uh, Eastern weapons or something. The names sure sound like it, but I'm not well versed enough. Uh, hi, can I help you? Uh, let's see, um, Heavy Shield, uh, Let's get one for one for Cyan and Hoond uh, Hat, Magus Hat. Uh, I think I'm. Oh, uh, oh. Let's get a bandana for for uh, for Sabin, and let's get one of these uh, Magus hats. I'll, I'll give it to uh, uh, to Celeste when I meet up with her again because it's not gonna be far off. Iron Helmet, Kung Fu Suit, already equipped with those guys. Iron Armor, uh, well, if, if uh, Saiyan doesn't have Iron Armor, goddamn, he ought to. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's give him a plumed hat as well, if he's, like, almost all the options that were available were, like, upgrades from what he had. So let's see, instead of a buckler, heavy shield, uh, leather hat, plumed hat, body, iron armor. All right, Cyan is armed and dangerous. And, uh, yeah, there's a uh, plumed hat, but a bandana is better for Saban. So, yeah, now everything seems good on that front. Uh, in. Let's see what's in here. Uh, you look tired. 100 GP for a snooze. No, thanks, I'm good. Uh, there's nothing else here. Uh, nothing on the uh, stove or barrels, on top of barrels stuff. Mm. Anything in the well? No. Oh, there's a dude with a dog. Out hunting, I noticed a kid running with a herd of beasts. His parents know where he is. I threw some dried meat into the into a herd of hungry animals, and some kid emerged and grabbed it. Ah. Wonder if the item shop guy sells dried meat. <laughs> Can I help you? Dried meat, yes. Let's. Uh, this is gonna work very much like the um, like the uh, um, chocobo catching in Final Fantasy VII, to where you know I'll need to. Let's take two, just in case if I miss the chance. Um, 
but I'm gonna need to run into a Gao uh, again, this kid here, um, and uh, if I toss him food, he'll, you know, become friendly to me. Uh, potion, let's buy some more potions. Let's, like, have ten. I drop green cherry. What did green cherry cures imp status? I haven't encountered that yet. Phoenix down, I have eleven. Tents only one, so let's grab so that I have, like, five tents. I ought to be pretty good after this. Um, let's see. Oh. oh. Carrier pigeons. Strong currents run through the serpent trench. Heard about it? No. Mm. Ah, yes, now I remember. This is... This is something that is trying to teach me stuff. Oh, yeah. Strong currents indeed. If only I, I could get on the water, either underneath or on top, the currents would carry me over. Hop into the current and you'll be swept into Nikea. <laughs> Nikea. <laughs> Furniture town. Uh, too bad our, uh, our underwater breeding device was stolen. Yeah, I know who stole it and who's going to gr give it to me. Um, in gratitude over befriending them, you know. <laughs> I'm at your service. I send things all over the world. Ah, uh -huh. oh, elixir. It's always good to remember to check the clocks and barrels and whatnot. Hey, what are you doing in the basement? Uh, the entrance to the Serpent Trench is south of Crescent Mountain. All right. Just like we saw it just now, guy was um, showing me where the current flows. Uh, Alright, what? Oh, oh, the little kid's going apeshit. <laughs> Keep your voices down! A soldier in here is hurt pretty bad. Soldier? Oh, there's a, there's a girl in the woods. Oh, I can... Some soldier wandered here, busted up pretty bad too. It doesn't look good. Only the, 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 only the letters coming from the town of Miranda are keeping him going. Well, hey, there was a soldier who talked to General Leo, and General Leo said that uh, he was from Miranda, right? So does that mean that this guy is that guy was willing to toss his life away? Injured lad, I'm from Miranda. The Empire invaded and made me join the army. I fled when I heard we were making for Doma. They called me <coughs> and did this. Now I can't even move. I'll never see Lola again. On the desk is a letter. Will you please read it? Oh, sure, buddy. I can't get used to Imperial troopers walking the streets of Miranda, but otherwise things are okay. Flowers are blooming in the garden. Telling me spring is here. Yeah. Wait, that that's from Lola. Well, maybe Lola has, has a very gruff voice. Maybe she smokes a, like ten packs a day, <laughs> drinks whiskey, and has had like throat surgery and everything. How are you doing? I'm so worried. I wish I could fly to your to your side. Rest and know that I think about you constantly. Come back to me, Lola. <laughs> Well, it wasn't the same guy, because this guy uh, uh, tried to escape before the Doma assault. Uh, Dwayne and Ketrin are both 16 and, I, and in love. Oh, here? Dwayne. Oh, 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 I mean, <laughs> just, let's just say dot, 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 dot. <laughs> just looking into each other's eyes with longing. Relics. Uh, sprint shoes. Uh, I might. No, actually, I, I don't. No, no, I already have. Like Cyan has them, so no, no worries. White cape. What did that do? Protects against imp and mute. Not. 
That's too much of an ask. You know, it, it's, it's too much of an ask when everybody can only equip two relics to fill the slot with something where it just those... Maybe if you know if beforehand that you're facing an enemy who does those conditions on you constantly, maybe then it's worth it, but just passively? No, I'm good. Good coffee. What do you have back here? Uh, gramophone. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even buy anything and I just went and slept in his bed while the other guy was charging hundred buckaroos for the same privilege. <laughs> but yeah, now I have the dried meat. That's the main point. I have some upgraded gear. I have the dried meat for Gao and, um, and yeah just a little bit wiser about the currents and things like that. So, um, something that I looked up uh, after last session uh, is that this place, this valley, this veld, the whole point why there's uh, enemies from all over and who gather here is because of how Gao's uh, ability works. Uh, you have a bestiary in your, basically, your, your, your hard drive, of, uh, which catalogs all the monsters you've faced thus far. Uh, every time you come to this place, uh, they are the enemies that are going to be populating this place that you're going to randomly be running into. And Gao's ability is all about learning enemy skills. Uh, when you uh, get Gao into your uh, group, uh, he will basically like take note of all the bestiary entries you have, and when you push the command of leap, he will leave your party, and when you run into him in the belt again and recruit him back, he will have learned all the bestiaries worth of new enemy abilities that uh, you've gathered thus far, and thus it's a good idea every once in a while to return here to basically upgrade Gao's abilities. Unfortunately, because once you activate one of those abilities on Gao, you lose control of him, and that's one of my main big gripes with different character powers that I want to avoid as much as possible. So I'm not going to be using Gao all that much, but that's the that's the point. All right, uh, Templars and soldiers. Let's use sword tech. Number four. Yeah, Quattro Slam. Oh, Sabin is pretty much doing all the work thanks to his uh, incredible counter attack. It's just incredible. So now all the four slashes are going to the one target, and now most likely I'll see Gao. No, he didn't appear. He ought to appear at some point. So let's just walk around the belt for now. Alright, these guys look familiar. I guy. Let's just pummel somebody. Let's use sword tech number one, which is just the single attack at a single enemy. Feeling kind of uh, less patient, I, I suppose. Real nice damage there, even still with the pummel. But at this point, I feel like Sabin's like double slashing is like uh, way more powerful than his. Uh, well, well, no, actually, it turns out it's pretty, uh, pretty close to it. Pretty close to this, the same. Oh, didn't run into Go. Well, he sure is somewhere in here. And in the south is a mountain region where, uh, let's try and suplex somebody. Hell yeah. Or like, uh, Gordon Soley would say, a souffle. <laughs> kind of like a souffle. <laughs> Just think, uh, good old Gordon Soley wanted to, uh, look smarter than he was. So, oh. Drive me, drive me, drive me, drive, 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 drive. Come on now, come on now. Where is it? There. Hopefully, I was quick enough. Oh, oh, I'm hungry. Drive meat. <laughs> oh, 
What the? Uh, the whole art so odd. I'm Cyan, and he's Sabin. You Sabin! You Cyan! <sighs> Me want more food! Uh, no more for you. You go! Get more for me! You're a regular munchkin. And you... <sighs> afraid of me, Hogan! You wanna fight? Me not wanna hurt you! Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> yeah, matching each other. Whew! <sighs> You're pretty tough. <laughs> that fun, you strong. <sighs> <laughs> Me like dancing, you good leader. Shut up. Shimmer down, sirs. And thou, a wild, oh wild one, who might thou be? Thou! Thou, thou! Thou, thou! Thou, thou! Thou, thou! You, you angry! Cyan, you angry! Me! Cyan, you angry me! Cyan, you angry me! Listen here, his family was just... His family was just... Uh... Me understand! Me sorry! Me not mean person! Look, we can't have ye two trashing around all day! Gao, I think we're going to get on well together. Why don't you join us? Oh, I give you present! Go give Cyan and Sabin nice gift and thanks for food! Uh, what manner of rubbish do you suppose where these guy? Ghost treasure! Shiny! Shiny! Shiny, 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 oh god! Can anything be that shiny? Does Mr. Thou think shiny thing? Uh, Mr. Thou's that one over there. A shiny thing, eh? Uh, think uh, how jealous Locke's gonna be when he hears about this. Who be Locke, he bad man? Maybe he try steal my treasure! <laughs> Look, well, yes. Uh, listen, where someone's uh, when someone's talking to you. I think he's trying to tell us something. Uh, all right, carry on. Yeah, yeah, shiny thing, yeah. Cyber. Place where you buy food, it called Mobles. Cyan, place where you stand, River brought you there. Now, we go Crescent Mountain! <sighs> Shiny thing there, oh god! Look, that, let's just go along with him to this Crescent Mountain. Phew! Why'd we invite him along anyway? <laughs> Mr. Thou, hurry up! <sighs> We're leaving! Hey, I told you once, I'm not Mr. Thou! <laughs> oh god, these voice choices. Oh, that's an imp, right? 
is how to build up your skills. One, choose leap, a command that only appears when you are on the mount. Keep fighting on the mount and God will reappear. You have learned the attacks of the monsters you were fighting when he leapt and returned. Well, well, choose the command Rage and you can use any of the attacks he's learned. And now please continue your quest. Ain't easy being an imp. But yeah, that's like I explained, so even if we can make it to the um, to the mountains now, I want to fight a couple of fights in the belt so I can send uh, that uh, Gauss hiding place. So, Alright, so leap. Alright, I, I forgot the actual match ended, but... Now, when the next match comes where we'll encounter Gao once again, he will have learned all the uh, enemy skills that we have thus far collected in our bestiary. Well, now let's just walk back and forth. Oh, shrubbery! Memories from the Kung Fu Mountains. Can't remember the real name of the mountains. <laughs> Oh, poisoned him. Curse you. There you go. No gal yet. Got a little bit of money. I wonder how many, um, how many antidotes I have. Oh, well, it's top of that. Ten. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But yeah, I've... <laughs> oh! Magitek armors. Let's let's use just one and let's let's suplex them, sons of bitches. If I get the chance. Yeah, suplex. Yeah. Personal favorites: deadlift su deadlift German suplex and uh, rolling chaos theory. German suplex. <laughs> uh, first one, deadlift suplex, uh, Daisuke Sekimoto, who's one of my favorite Japanese wrestlers, although he, he was more like at, at his heyday in the 2010s, early 2010s, like 2012 and stuff. He did, he, he's like this, well, he's not that tall, you know, Japanese and all, but he's bulky as hell, and he used to do this, like, uh, he did a bunch of lariats and clotheslines and stuff, and he used to do this deadlift German suplex where somebody's just, you know, like a sack of potatoes on the ground, and he would just lift them up and, and suplex them. That was cool, cool as hell. And the other one, the Rolling Chaos uh, German, uh, uh, Rolling Chaos Theory uh, German suplex that uh, Douglas Williams, one of my favorite British wrestlers, did. Uh, you know, I used to watch him quite a bit in uh, uh, Total Nonstop Action Wrestling back in the day, in like 2008 and 9. Um, and uh, and that, that's basically where you have somebody in a waist lock and you run with them, you ram them into a corner, and based on that thump that comes, like that ricochet that comes from running with them, use that momentum to do a uh, backwards like uh, uh, somersault and you roll with the guy still holding him by the waist and when you roll up with him you use that momentum to do a German suplex on them. Sadly the Total Nonstop Action Wrestling's ring was so tiny that you pretty much went from one edge of the ring all the way to the other to where it was kind of scary that somebody might bump their heads to the other edge of the ring when you did that because it requires a lot of space but it's cool as hell. It's cool as hell. And yeah. Saban's um, suplex, sadly, doesn't conjure that imagery all that much, even though it does. It does to a certain extent. But yeah. Oh yeah, there's Gao. Oh! Ooh, I'm Gao! I'm your friend! Let's travel together, Hogan! So now, Gao has, uh, let's see if I can look at his skills, basically. Uh, 
rage. So there's Brawler, Whisper, Rodox, Swearat, Rhinotaur, Lobo. <laughs> if only it was like the comic book Lobo, I would be invincible. Hornet, Trilobiter, uh, Exocyte, Magitech Armor, and that's it. So I'm, I'm sure it's like... Uh, not every single enemy that you can encounter is going to give you one of those rage abilities, but still. Huh? Huh? <laughs> the shiny thing Gao spoke of is in here! <laughs> well, he said as much. Come on now. Oh, Sir Gao, where exactly is it? Go! Forget! <sighs> ah. <laughs> Shall we look around? Indeed. Let's. There's going to be like mounds, little lumps on the ground and... This is Sir Gao's treasure? <laughs> Thankfully no. Thankfully no. But the tonic is welcome. Yeah, I remember that there were kind of like lumps, but I, I suppose it's like just spots. <laughs> hey Gao, what's wrong? Go! There was 500 GP in it! <laughs> Gow! You! <laughs> oh dear! Sir Saban, let me handle this! Gow's just laughing. <laughs> well, 500 buckaroos isn't that much. I have like 62. 62,699 bucks. So, you know. Oh, there. Just follow the bridge. Oh, there it is. Uh, is this it? Gauss treasure? Treasure! Yes! <sighs> well, uh, looks like a like glass. Looks like it just might fit. Hmm. Hmm. Is this of any use? Will this really let us breathe underwater? <laughs> One diving helmet for three guys will just have to like hug each other and just <laughs> the three heads inside. <laughs> I, I love the design and like the um, uh, aesthetics of like those old timey diving suits. They look like like something that really fits like steampunk and horror stuff and all sorts of neat stuff like that, but goddamn does it like make claustrophobia like rise to the surface for me. Like, like I'd, I'd never, I'd never. <laughs> Maybe on dry land I might want to try it on even though it's most likely hot like a furnace, but, uh, but no, never, never would go underwater with it. Um, let's go! Is he going to jump into the water automatically? Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, courage, fast, no kidding. But unless we hop in, we won't see our friends again. Well, like the guy in town said, the current is so strong it'll just take me over the ocean and uh, get me to another town, which is going to be a town that has like a major dock so I can travel by ship. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, the diving helmet is kind of like having just some sort of a spell ring that help lets me breathe underwater. Ooh, neato. Ray 
beach and let's try... How about we try the... Um... Oh, so far away? Let's try uh, if I have the uh, Magitek armor here. There. Thankfully everything is ordered pretty neatly there. Let's do an underwater <coughs> suplex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're a pretty strong guy if you can like uh, defy physics and just suplex folks like underwater. It's like a real grueling exercise to like try and box and like do all that stuff underwater already. But trying to suplex dudes. <laughs> Wear, while wearing one of those ye olde, you know, diving suits on top of that. Oh, uh, let's let's go left. When I don't know the directions, when it gives me these op opportunities, I like to go from like in like in reading order, just out of habit. Let's suplex some folks some more. Uh, rage, uh, Rhino Tor. Gumbled. Oh, it healed him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because of his, uh, like, the rage thing. He was using the same ability as... Uh, he had the uh, blah, 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 the abilities of one of those things I said earlier when I encountered it, that if you use spells on it, it counterattacks. Must be that. So, yeah, last time we went left, so what next time it gives me an option, let's just go straight or right. Uh, let's... Brawler? Uh, they were those ninja goons. Uh, ooh. Kind of neat. Uh, if I were to, like, sit down and actually, like, study and learn all the features having to do with, um, with Gao's rage options and stuff, he might be a very useful character, but there's so many useful characters that he sadly just falls, kind of like Vincent in Final Fantasy um, VII, uh, where uh, his limit break uh, takes control from you, where he just transforms into a super deadly um, uh, creature, and uh, you have no say in what he does on his turns, and that's a really big like uh, pet peeve of mine when it comes to you know this is this is pretty much a tactics kind of game in, in a lot of ways you know when when you're doing combats and one of the worst things you could have in, in a game where you're waiting for and waiting and then planning your turns is to have abilities where you lose that control and um, oh wound up in some sort of cave. Are there any extra goodies in here, or is it just... Oh, is this kind of recovery spring, maybe? No? Didn't let me go there? Oh! There's a button. It's a well. There's a chest. Green beret. Who uses a green beret? Uh, well, it is better in every way. Let's... Let's just give it to uh, Saban. Because Saban is going to be one of those characters that I'm going to keep with me as much as I possibly can. Him and his brother, Edgar. Um, whenever I would get a choice, it would basically be that I want the brothers and Celeste with me. And whoever would be the fourth would be a toss-up, depending on the situation, if I get the choice. Oh, sorry. Sneezing. <laughs> Saban just in his regular mode, just being washed up ashore anywhere. Alright, so let's see. Anything in the crates? Do the uh, salty sailors have anything to say? Uh, South Figaro bound ferry. Uh, still need to shop. Hop aboard. Okay, well, good to know that there's nothing that you need to basically do beforehand in order to be able to, you know, stow away or not stow away, but <laughs> travel aboard the ship to, uh, uh, to uh, what was it, Figaro? South Figaro? Uh, and from there, it's quite easy to get to Narsh and stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's um, go ahead and just 
visit the town because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to come back. So the land of <clears throat> the land to the east, Doma, fell to the Empire. Oh, tell me about it. Move along now. You're in my way. Sorry. Looks like junk, but but what? Uh, there's always a junk dealer in the docks somehow. No one can reach Mika unless they have a ship. Oh, aha, can I help you? Mithril Claw already. Potetsu! Mithril Pike. Um, why not? Why not? It's better for Edgar, and Edgar is one of those characters that I just said I want to keep with me, even though I'm most likely going to be using his tools almost always because um, very soon I'm going to be able to get a, um, uh, a very good tool for him that's uh, for solo creatures, and it's pretty much going to be then either using that or using the Famathu-looking um, uh, auto crossbow. Uh, uh, have any imported goods? No, Mr. Ta <laughs> Mr. Customs Man, no, surely not. <laughs> you met that old ma that old man lives near the later river. His wife bore. I'm a son thirteen years ago. I was a problem birth, and the woman passed away. The man totally lost it. He thought the newborn was a monster. Wonder what happened to the poor little baby. Sorry, that that was pretty much <laughs> uncipherable for anybody. But yeah. Maybe it's important, I can't recall if that's important information, that somebody abandoned their child because they thought they, they were like a monster. Dancer. You, who? You, you handsome thing? How about joining me, tee <laughs> How dare you? You... I'm not sure how to pronounce the word. Licentious howler. <laughs> Jeez, don't blow an don't blow an artery, baby. Baby, <laughs> Cyan, don't let it get to you. I'm not like that. No one thinks you are. Just let it go. <laughs> Stop whispering. My ears are burning, baby. <laughs> Enough. Have you no shame? I'll have you know what to try to try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Cyan is a, a total moralist here. <laughs> oh, poor, poor dancing girl. Uh, there used to be ships sailing to the southern continent. Zen, Albrook, Miranda, they're all being smashed. Well, guess the Empire is behind that since uh, uh, Miranda has been mentioned a couple of times as a location having to do with the Empire's dirty business. Ah, can I help you? Uh, it looks like on the armor side of things, things are... I already had one, have one of these Magus hats, and um, I don't want to buy anything for Terra right now, because I, I don't want to spoil, but she's not going to be in my party for, for a while now. Uh, Iron Helmet, let's take... Wait, uh, yeah, let's take... Three iron helmets, silk robe, iron armor. I think that's good. Uh, and that's there's still the item shop. But let's see. I think I want to buy some of those. Some um, like smoke bomb. Uh, let's party escape from battle. Only three hundred. Uh, I, I might buy three just in case, uh, as long as I remember that I have something like that. Echo screen cure mute status. Let's get a few of those. Uh, green cherry imp status. Let's get a few of those. Uh, Phoenix downs 
sleeping bag tent. All right, all right. Uh, what's up in here? In. Oh, it's just, you know. Let's see. Ah, elixir. I've gotten quite a bit of elixirs and I haven't used them. Uh, there's just opportunity to sleep, but yeah, I'm not feeling like it. A rock slide has blocked the path leading north. Maybe that's uh, something for future consideration. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the ship and uh, we'll be heading to uh, South Figaro, I think, and eventually to Narsh. But that's basically going to be... We're going to, like, uh, end the chapter of the party being split and we're gonna reunite in Narsh and uh, have things move onward. Hop aboard. <laughs> Little tugboat. Narsh is just a stone's throw away. I hope the others arrived safely. I'm sure they did. We hope so too! <sighs> the three have reached Nosh, and, the de and a decisive battle is about to take place. Yes, indeed. Elder. Narsh, yeah, there's, those are Narshans, those guys with the wraps. Uh, I understand all of it, except how can we be encouraging blood shit? Arvis, uh, I, I never said that. Something like it. Ha, uh, huh, he's right, you know. Our blood, our blood will spill because of you. Emperor Gestalt's racing to acquire magitech power. He set his sights on the Esper that was found here. The increased use of magitech power will surely lead to global destruction. The War of the Magi? The mythical battle that set mankind back a thousand years. Can, oh, fuck. Can this be? People will never learn. Brother! Say then, you're right. Hmm. Who's with you? I'm Cyan, retainer to the Lord of Doma. Go! Go! <sighs> uh, the people of Doma who were wiped out by the Empire. Kefka poisoned everyone. A barbaric. Elder. But that was only because Doma was collaborating with the Returners. If we make that mistake... That's now thinth. So many voices. Look! The Empire is poisoned to, uh, poised to attack Nath right now. What? Locke, where'd you hear that? Thelith here was one of the Empire's generals. I knew she seemed familiar. Sir Gao, out of my way! Damn. This is General Celeste. She torched Miranda. She's an Imperial spy. Now stand aside. 
Wait! Celeste has joined the Returners! She's fighting with us now! But... I promised I'd protect her! I will not back out of my word! Locke, are you still thinking about that? I was also an Imperial soldier. What?! The Empire is evil, but not all of its citizens are. Oh, this is... Emergency! The Empire is... The Empire cometh! <laughs> is he from Doma originally? Is, is his dad Domish? <laughs> the Empire cometh. I don't care what you do here, just get me the Esper! Lord Kefka, there's civilians here! Exterminate everyone! But Narsh is neutral! Idiot! Read my lips, despairs of any who oppose us! March! Thankfully, Kefka is a, liter a literal clown, so I don't have to worry about his voice sounding ridiculous. We really have no choice. Let's make re ready for war. There's after. they after the Esper. We moved it into the hills. Then we're going up after it. Whole party. Locke has compli. Locke has a complicated. Compli Fuck! I'm a soldier, not some love star. Well, at, at least you guys can pause. But yeah, he was. So, you were born with the power of magic. Isn't it a lovely gift? So yeah, uh, Edgar was making a point that Locke has a complicated past having to do with someone. He said that he has someone near and dear to him that, that's the motivation for him to be in the Returners. And he's been making uh, like big declarations of like giving his word of honor to protect Terra and now Celeste. So he's clearly projecting something that he feels he's powerless really to affect him. You know, he's doing his best here, and uh, Celeste is just like, yeah, 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 I'm not falling for his charms, and it might not be all that much about actually charming somebody, but yeah. Uh, you can use magic too? When I was a baby, I was artificially infused with magic and raised as a magitech knight. Have you loved anyone? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Terra? I don't think for a moment. Don't think for a moment I trust you. Fine. Use your own eyes, then decide. Alright. Let's save here. We're going to basically be uh, doing the same thing we did with the Moogles earlier, uh, to where we're going to make assembled parties and we're going to protect this area. Uh, prepare, prepare. No, I'm expecting I need to talk to folks. Uh, what? What? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing right now. So, let's just take Celeste here. No, no, wait. I think. Well, I, I saved, so if I screw this up, because I need to assemble three parties, and I, what I mean to do one super party and leave the remaining two here to block Bannon, basically. Are you prepared? Yes. So you, the Esper from Kefka, need some info? Okay, give it to me. You'll fight in three groups. There's the Y button to switch between them. Defeat Kefka before his men reach Bannon, otherwise you lose! Alright.
Alright, alright. So, first party is going to be Celeste. It's going to be Edgar. It's going to be Sabin. And it's going to be Cyan. Uh, then the next is going to be, let's say, Terra and Locke. And the third one is just going to be Gao by himself. And now I'm done. Uh, the coming. Alright. Ooh, it's General Celeste, the traitor. How delightful! This will be fun! <laughs> Kefka's laugh, man. Classic. Can't do it justice. Uh, go! Get those vile insects! Alright, so... Okay, let's, uh, let's do the whole switch party. Let's have uh, Terra be there. Let's have... Uh, Gao be there, and now with my main group, let's see if I can, yeah, let's equip any, uh, Regal Cutlass, Heavy Shield, Head, ooh, many options, uh, Iron Helmet, uh, Leather Armor, it, it's not as good as Iron Armor, okay, well, uh, Saban has already everything equipped, oh, oh wow. because he was just with me, uh, Regal Cutlass, I have the Mithril Pike for him. A heavy Shield, a Plumed Hat, uh, Iron Helmet. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh, and uh, it looks like... Um, there. It was uh, remnants from the uh, Raft ride. Uh, and then let's see Relics. Uh, At um, Atlas Armlet. Raises magic damage more powerful if... Uh, oh yeah, earrings. But what did... If I do that, uh, Atlas Armor raises fight damage. Okay, I can give that to Cyan, maybe. Uh, she, she can have the uh, paired up earrings. That sounds really good. Uh, Sabin has already really good stuff. Sprint Shoes, True Knight. I don't want anybody to have True Knight right now. Sniper Sight Insurers, 100% uh, fight Hit rate. No, 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 actually. Um, hyper wrist raises vigor. Let's give him that, and then let's. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> then let's give Cyan. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, let's give him sniper sight so that his fight is better and raises fight damage. There you go. I think I'm good now. It's just too bad that if I now get my ass kicked, I have to do all this again when it's. Um, I screw things up, so yeah, let's auto crossbow everybody, uh, suplex, let's just use the first sword tech here, um, so yeah, Celeste is going to be basically my healer in this, and uh, her main purpose is that once I've defeated all the um, soldiers, we're going to be fighting Kefka. And Kefka is a really good, like, magician. So she needs to be there to do the runic thing. Uh, so let's see. Um, uh, yeah, antidote. No, not antidote, sorry. I meant uh, tonic. There's only six of them, so let's... Man, look at this. The party didn't, like, advance with me. That sucks. That sucks. I'm gonna have to do, like... The, there's definitely a spot where I need to start grinding characters up, because being at 15th and 14th level, when the other two are, like, at 20th, that's no bueno. So, hopefully, nothing... Nothing, uh... Let's just use fight, because... Uh, Save her MP. Let's just use the number four. Come on now. Still got to swing for it, yeah. Yeah. Um, Celeste's regular strike isn't anything to write home about at this point. But 
yeah, let's... The sprint shoes would be nice in this, but I'm not worried about it too much. of the fact that when I see Celeste and Edgar have their health at like 300 something, it doesn't mean that they're at half health, their maximum is 300 something. So it's, it's no uh, reason to worry all that much yet. Let's just keep on grinding away. Still the same collection of folks. No, let's let's uh, let's not have Celeste use any magic because I really need her to save the MP for healing purposes. Even though I have a good good collection of potions, lotions and potions. Ah, going kind of overboard there. Celeste gained a level, nice. I'll just uh, conveyor belt <laughs> enemies into the <laughs> into the meat grinder. Now let's, let's just defend with Celeste when she doesn't have anything to do right now. Oh, there you go. And he's gonna die from the uh, Hokuto Shinken. Still the same assortment of enemies. Um, no, defend. Uh, pretty sh pretty uh, soon she'll need to uh, start healing, folks. Let's just use the. Yeah, hell yeah! Wow, uh, that's a souffle. Uh, Saban with the uh, uh, gorgeous uh, souffle. I'm not the biggest Gordon Soli fan. <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a he's a classic announcer for pro wrestling, but he's so like uh, like uh, laid back and like uh, <laughs> you know like uh, or not laid back, but I mean, we're sure, yeah. But he's so like uh, dry. Oh man! Oh man! Okay, let's start. Or I'll just I'll just kill myself. No, oh, didn't get the chance to do that, but let's do it out of combat anyway. Her having like uh, 190 is concerning. Um, Saban, he oh man, he has 780 at his max. He, he is a stud. There's so many enemies still left to go. This is gonna take a t take a while. Okay, now there's. Ooh, that's also really nice looking when it's like gray. What was that? Some kind of shield thing? Let's use a runic because if the Magitek suit is gonna be doing any kind of shenanigans, uh, it might be a good idea. Actually, I might. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to... I really wouldn't want to give the True Knight thing to Sabin because I like both of his uh, relics right now, but because he has so much more uh, hit points at his maximum than anybody else that it feels like the right thing. Uh, Frido! I think I might have missed... No, Pummel? The thing with uh, a lot of those um, uh, blitz inputs is that if you have to do any kind of direction that's not like either up, down, left, or right, if it's anything in the middle, uh, in an angle, it's it's kind of annoying because it's so easy to just 
mispress it, and then it's just like, ah, incorrect blitz input, and it, the whole thing it just gets wasted, you know? So, I tend to like to use either the pummel or suplex, but thankfully they're my favorites anyway. Uh, the others are all, all sorts of, like, um, uh, Dragon Ball style, like, ah, your chakra, like, uh, like coming into a fireball and stuff like that, so it's, it's, uh, it's all neat, but not as neat as uh, doing a suplex. Well, let's see. Pay attention to this. So, oh, man, those guys are getting up there. I need to catch them. I need to catch them. Let's just use the first sword catch there. Auto crossbow. Well, thankfully, he's doing it on saving. His chest is so like puffed out, like he has like a triple H man titties. <laughs> you know, it's like he has like a breastplate made of flesh. You know, like, like, come on, hit me, <laughs> as if I care. during the battle? No. I really hope nothing goes wrong with this, um, because I really, like, I don't want to be doing this again and again. Um, let's see. There. She's running low on MP, but I can always just throw an elixir. I think Elixir was about MP, maybe it was like an MP and, uh, and health. Pounce. Straight up Wolverine stuff, it's like, Sabin already is so fun and cool, and on top of that he has like the Wolverine claws, it's like, uh, how many, like, just cool things you can add to the guy. <laughs> like, I can't really, like, um, uh, like, I, I don't have a favorite character in this cast of characters. This is one of those uh, things, like, in, um, like, in all my favorite Final Fantasies, where it's, like, it's really hard to, come on now, uh, to pick one favorite because you like so many other characters and that's like an ideal situation. It's like you love so many of the characters and they're so like top-notch quality that uh, that it's just yeah. I might have characters that I'm not as fond of but still it's like Like, for example, I, I don't like Gao's, uh, you know, ability that much, and I don't like how I can rely on Shadow to be a regular member, and all these different things, but they have nothing, um, that's nothing about their, like, creative side, the writing of the characters and stuff, and the art of them, and all that. And also, you know, at one time I, I felt like uh, like Locke was kind of boring, but you know, it's, it's I don't feel like that anymore. And also, when you, when you <laughs> give him a voice like the American Dream doth the road, you know, <laughs> it's like how can you not like the guy? <laughs> even though even though even though my uh, my Dusty Rhodes impression is kind of like, you know, as are most of my impressions. I think my, uh, my, I think my, um, uh, Randy Savage is okay. <laughs> but that's not the point. The point is just to, uh, I, I, I like to use imitations or like attempts at imitations because those are good, like, landmarks to remember what a character's voice was like. Know, what voice you chose for them. Uh, I, I do that whenever I run Dungeons and & Dragons and other role-playing games as well. I tend to use a lot of um, 
I tend to use a lot of like uh, impressions, be they good or bad, uh, just so that I can keep uh, consistency with uh, NPCs. And that's a, that's actually something I would recommend to anybody uh, running games when they're if they think like they can't do. NPC voices, or they find uh, like large amounts of NPCs like uh, cumbersome. I, like for me, pro wrestling works as a fantastic source for voices and characteristics and stuff, stuff like that. Because uh, while I do have friends who might recognize some of the most recognizable, you know, pro wrestlers out there, uh, they don't know most of them, so it's it, it feels like unique. That it's not like a guessing game of them like pointing the finger out, like like I recognize Schwarzenegger voice, or I rem I recognize Sly Stallone's voice, or something that's like mainstream like that. But it's definitely like um, um, it's definitely one of those things where if you watch cartoons or play video games or any of that stuff, it's easy to, um, instead of saying to yourself that, oh, the character has a gruff voice, it's, at least for me, it's easier to say that, oh, they have a solid snake voice, <laughs> even though that might as well be just gruff voice, <laughs> it's, it's easier to remember and hone in on, you know? And in Dungeons and Dragons, there's sometimes, you know, adventures where, like, in the pre-written adventure modules and, and campaign books and stuff like that. Um, for example, I own one called Out of the Abyss, and that game starts in, in a prison cell where you have ten NPCs that all have distinctive personalities, quirks, and... Uh, and uh, secrets and um, and all sorts of like peculiarities about them. So I would think that for any dungeon master, be they new or or um, or, or an experienced one, something like that can be quite cumbersome. And thus, it helps me a lot if I have like uh, things to hone in on, you know names to put down on paper, like, like, okay, this orc chief and chieftain sounds like, uh, Jesse Ventura or something. <laughs> it's, it's easy that way. All right, we're almost done, almost done. I don't know what he's doing. All of the, uh, Magitek armors have been doing that move in this battle. I have no idea what it is. God damn, I'm sweating like a hog in here. It's it's been a super hot month. Alright. Alright, there you go. I hope I'm correct in assuming that this guy is the last. Ooh, wow! Preemptive strike? Man, that looks so cool. That's like an Age of Sigmar style, like a general, like a centerpiece. God damn, that's cool. I had completely forgotten that guy's existence and appearance. Let's cure myself. I have no idea how tough this guy is. It looks like a, like a total boss. <laughs> well, there. <you> <laughs> <laughs> How come the coolest characters sometimes are like are like this? I got a remedy and all that. Well, I think that was the last guy. Let's just make sure that everybody's healed the max. There, uh, Celeste is out of MP, so let's just. Tincture. I have four of these, so let's let's do that. She's the only one that uses MP. I would really want to save at this point, but then again, I'm feeling kind of confident with this set of guys to go against Kefkai, son of a bitch. And now you get to see him as he is. Suplex the son of a bitch. So yeah, he is... Oh. Can't suplex him? Well, 
doesn't surprise me really all that much. Uh, runic, that's very important. So let's just do the pummel thing. Auto crossbow. I have to constantly be aware of the uh, health. But yeah, like I really like Kefka's uh, design there. He is very much like a like a like a uh, Harlequin. Don't think you won. I'll be back. What? 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 Well, okay, I, I'm starting to think that maybe the game has a lot of leniency at this point. I've spent already like two um, two uh, moments in the game in grinding the characters up to like a few levels, and maybe it's just like, okay, they expect that you didn't do that because you're playing this for the first time, and you just went through that, and maybe you didn't even, you know, stock up on a lot of your ability, I mean, items and stuff, so... I mean, yeah, okay, that's... I personally feel that's very anticlimactic, but I'm also... I, I, I can appreciate it being easy for newbies. Ah, I won't forget this! Oh, teleported away. Uh, where's the Esper? Is it okay? That was a close call. Can it still be alive? Impossible, right? Terra, what is it? Esper, there's some kind of reaction. What? What am I feeling? Huh? What's going on? Please, tell me! Who am I? Who? Terra! And Espiel, I can actually feel its mind. Terra, step away from the Esper. Freak the hell out and just can't recall if some kind of ancient mind woke up in her or if she just is overwhelmed by all this and just ah, went kind of cuckoo. Oh, you awake? Ah, away with Terra! She changed into a something and took off. She looked like... She looked like an espier. Locke, you okay?
Something happened to Terra. There seems to be some connection between Espers and her. Anyway, we need to find her. Witnesses saw her screech, screaming across the sky to the west. Let go! I promised her I'd... Lock. Think, people. The Empire still wants that Esper. Abaddon needs our help, too. A former Imperial soldier. But we've no choice. We must help her. Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for Terra will stay and guard Nash. Figaro Castle can shuttle us to the western province. Then we'll make for, uh, Kolingen or Jidor. Alright, my group is going to be the same as during that last part. There and lock. What? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! While I feel like lock is kind of like a um, protagonist type, this game doesn't really have a clear protagonist. It's very much like Terra is the like main character, but she's the main character in many ways, kind of like how Yuna is the main character in Final Fantasy X, where it's like her story, she's the focal point of everything, but it's told from uh, a different point of view. Um, and I feel like Locke is perhaps most of the kind of passionate human element here, so he might be most like a protagonist type, but because there isn't a fixed main character in, in a party, it's not that clear, but you know, there's multiple ways to tell a story. So, now we do have the sprint shoes on. So, uh, let's... Ah, another elixir. A lot of elixirs and clocks. Let's see what Bannon has to say. And also the, uh, I can't remember his name, but the old man. Go find Terra. She holds the future to our survival. Terra turned into the light and streaked away towards the west. Make your way to Figaro Castle. Maybe they can help you there. Yeah. Yes. I just realized I overwrote my original save when I started playing, so I just have to hope to dear God that nothing happens to the recording and uh, I'd be screwed. You know? <laughs> That's... Achilles heel, uh, oh, myth Mithril shield, everybody wants that, uh, Magus hat, uh, bandana, uh, iron helmet, he doesn't have an iron helmet? Uh, okay, well, I'll buy him an iron helmet, silk robe, alright, uh, so, I have one, two, three guys that want shields, alright, at some point I'm gonna have to, like, uh, sell Mithril shield, uh, sell a bunch of my equipment because I keep buying new ones. Um, yeah, he's good, he's good. Edgar, Mithril shield, yeah, and then Cyan, Mithril shield, plumed hat, iron helmet, body. Uh, no, an iron armor is better for my purposes here. So yeah, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to uh, uh, Norsh is a neutral city. We want no war here, but that motherfucker empire, <laughs> motherfucking empire won't let's. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Um, yeah, let's look around a little bit. Magic? <laughs> what nonsense! We hadn't had the chance to, like... The house to the far right contains the treasure I've collected. Take them before the Empire does. 
Only one of them is locked. Now, what do you suppose is inside? I think it's one of those locations where... Uh, we follow our elders' advice. Well, good. Uh, Figaro Castle can bor borrow under the desert and take you to Col Colingen. Yeah. That's what it did earlier. Uh, I saw some Moogles walking with a Sasquatch. Sasquatch? <laughs> no, I think that's one of the characters that can join our party at one point. Relics, spread shoes, jewel ring, uh, protects against dark, petrify, fairy ring, protects against poison and dark, uh, barrier ring, casts shell when, M M when HP is low, Mithril Glove casts safe when HP is low. Uh, no, no thanks. I'll rather keep the um, earrings on, Celeste. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Anything else I need to uh, check out in this place? Uh, item shop. Mm. Nah, nah, I'm gonna get potions and stuff from enemy encounters anyway, most likely, so. Uh, in the far right corner, he said. So let's see. Does he mean this house? Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of crates and stuff. Found 5,000 GP. Re received earrings, nice. Uh, thief knife. <laughs> nice name. Locked. Hyper wrist. Sneak ring. Wall ring. Uh, only the chest of the back is locked. Can it be opened? Uh, I, I think it's something where I return later. But I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's see, relics, earrings. I got a third earring basically hyper wrist raises vigor casts reflect uh protects against berserk uh yeah i don't want the automatic reflects because if if it works the same way as in final fantasy 7 it's gonna also reflect uh healing stuff so no thanks uh, i think i've seen everything here now at least everything I want to see now. So we're heading back to uh, to Figaro Castle. Familiar stomping grounds. And, uh, this lovely theme song. And this is going to be Sabin's uh, return back home, you know. Oh, leafers. And let's soup like somebody. Automatic weapons on these woodland critters. Poor bastards. Alright. There you go. Got some money and some XP. So, yeah, I'm getting to it. The castle has emerged once again. King Edgar, welcome back! Yeah, let's see if the um, Chancellor is here. This like old times. I have to wander around for a while. <laughs> I'll let him wander around for a while. I'll want to uh, see if I can talk to the Chancellor. Here he is. Uh, I can't remember what voice I gave. Oh yeah, oh, actually... Uh, uh, welcome back, King Edgar. Make yourselves at home here. Okay, that was that. Um, let's see if there's anything interesting here. Everything, you know, in, in these uh, crates has been taken. Let's see if the throne room has anything. I think Saban is just going to be, like, he's basically disappeared and he'll join the party when it's time to leave, but still, it's... Oh yeah, these are the 
shops, no banks. Oh, actually, actually, um, there might be... Uh, I can't take money from the king. Look, don't you have a family? Just shut up and take it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now there's uh, also, what is it, Flash? Uh, blinds m uh, multiple enemies, use with tools command. And drill, penetrate an enemy's defenses, use with tools command. This drill is a really good, like, attack against a single enemy. Flash, uh, well, it blinds folks. Ah, I'll take it, I have so much money. I, I, it's just one of those things where I don't use the bio blaster or the noise thing all that much either. Uh, so yeah, it's because I have Edgar with me, everything is like uh, half priced or something. Um, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm good. Uh, no wait, actually, did these guys sell um, the uh, what was it? What was the? Uh, no, they don't have the thing that raises MP. Okay. Whatever it was called. Uh, so yeah, let's... Uh, King Edgar, welcome back! That girl, wrapped in a... Uh, uh, wrapped in a fireball, headed off to the west. King Edgar, welcome back! We sighted Kefka in, uh, in the area. Oh shit, then let's not wait around. Oh, this was the prison? So this was the uh, machinery place. Lots of requests this month. Uh, if it's your wish, I'll take you beyond the mountains. Go to Kohlingen. Co <laughs> Distant Kohlingen? Yeah, Kohlingen. Yeah. <laughs> like, must summon all my strength to turn the crank <laughs> or the lever. So here we go. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you suppose the uh, castle is like going just like, uh, like you know, like in that kind of way where it's just com constantly like upright going <laughs> under, or is it just like going like a like a drill machine like the one Shredder uses in? Ninja Turtles, you know, like, with its pointy bits, like the, the towers first, you know. Uh, next stop, Kohling, and watch your step. Can I go down? No, that's dangerous. <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully Saban is going to be... Oh, there he comes. Hey, wait, I'm coming to. All right. Uh, so now, here's a town... This Kohlingen. Ah, Red Fang. Let's, let's suplex a son of a bitch. Uh, we have wolves colored like, uh, uh colored kind of like a uh, German Shepherd. Oh, in, uh, incorrect input? God damn it, me and my slippery fingers. I know where uh, Terra went. Uh, there's going to be a basically a city of thieves that I need to get to. But before we go there, let's visit all these places. Uh, Kolingen. Uh, everyone was scared when the glowing creature uh, stopped here. It left to the south towards Jador. Yeah, you need to like go there piece by piece. Every place tells you went. She went one place further, and the furthest place is the City of Thieves, uh, Zozo. That shining creature, so frightened to us all, but I found it beautiful. Yeah, she has that kind of angelic kind of quality about her. Also kind of ghostly, like a banshee or something. Was it really a ghost? It stopped right in front of me. I could see a, a, it had a gentle eyes. Yeah. Oh, the girl is following me? Goddamn. My dream is to see it, see an opera at the opera house south of Jidor. I'd I'd wear a sequin dress, and bring a handsome escort. <laughs> well, you a friend of Locke's? 
he always stops by Rachel's house when he comes here. Rachel! Oh. Let's see if uh, there's... Oh, God damn. Oh, looky, looky who it is, you son of a bitch. Uh, we meet again. Leave me alone. To my long girl. Woo. I wouldn't want to recruit him anyway. Like, I, I, I can, I, if I would have left a slot in my party, if I was traveling with just three guys, I could have recru recruited him now. But not a fan. You know, Shadow is cool and all, especially with having the dog and everything. But I really don't like that. Out of the blue, he can just leave. Stay away from that guy. He is an assassin. Yeah, he's a backstabbing son of a bitch, too. Well, not a backstabbing, but he, <laughs> he'll leave you hanging. Um, he'll ghost you. Uh, some pretty bad swords coming here. That guy's an assassin. Oh, well, everybody knows his reputation, it seems. Okay, let's see if Rachel's house is somewhere in here. Oh, there's an item shop and a weapon shop. Do I need to really, like, upgrade stuff already? Come on now. Ah, uh, Air Lancet. Flail. Okay. Full Moon. Uh, Shuriken. Uh, yeah. Well, there's everything you would want if you're recruiting um, Shadow, I guess. So let's just give her a Flail. It's more befitting for her, I guess. Armor. And there's stuff that makes everybody better, except everybody's pretty much wearing all... Yeah, it's it's all familiar stuff. Now, what about you? Uh, nothing new, nothing new. Yeah. My dream is to see the... Oh, she says the same thing. Maybe you, could do, you two can go together. Um... Best stay away from the house on the eastern edge of town. The old coot us there spends his days mixing curious herbs. I heard he keeps ghosts under his house. Oh shit, I'm interested. Can I go there? Oh, can I go there through here? Hey, Mr. Ghostbuster. Nobody home, or rather somebody behind that back door. Maybe it's something for later. Can't recall. Oh, that! Oh, that locks. Dear me, almost spilled the beans. <laughs> I feel like I should have had lock with my in my party because. Uh, are we through here? All done? Finished? <laughs> Okay, well, I can't recall, it's been so long since I last played this game, but I think the hints are pretty much that there's a Snow White style situation with someone Locke cares about, you know, in a coma or something like that, or a Mr. Freeze situation. Uh, you a friend of Locke's? You, oh, Rachel's house, I suppose that was Rachel's house, but let's still see what this place is. More elixirs. Always elixirs. Well, nothing here. Alright, so we were told that she flew from the... Oh, what? There's a... Oh! Uh, it came to my house! A monster of light! L looked somehow human! Oh man, did Terra do this? Did she like come down from the sky like a comet and crashed into his house or something? Poor guy. Hope you have insurance, buddy. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Let's not be an ass. Okay, so I think they said like south. Alright. Oh! Ultra. I've learned my lesson. I won't try to suplex people who are flying. That was that was pretty rough. Like 300 out of them. Uh, 
Should have used fight with Celeste so I could see the uh, see the flail. So let's see. To the south, there's a dot there on the map, so that must be the, uh, the town. Um, but the city of Thebes is like behind a kind of curving, um, a kind of curving uh, mountain range. It's kind of nestled there, hidden away. Uh, and it's a pretty rough place. Uh, when it comes time to go to that place, that's where I'm going to stop and grind once again. Um, because it's, you know, it's a tough place, and it's also somewhere, uh, a place where, um, it's a place where, uh, no matter where you are, uh, random encounters will come after you, you know? And there's a couple of boss battles. A couple. That might be one, if I remember correctly, but... My memory is about to be trusted. Let's see. Let's see the flail. There you go. Sleeping on that, uh, but yeah. Um, when I start to start to do the grinding thing, I'm most likely going to do it right next to this other town that we're close to, um, so that I'll have like a place to rest in comfortably. You know, not having to do the same thing I did last time, which is uh, um, uh, spend all my He'll save and he is pretty, a pretty rough place. Let's see, hopefully he'll suplex one of the guys on the floor level. Yeah. Oh, and let's see the drill. I'll drill somebody. Oh, come on now. Hopefully I'm heading to the right direction. Uh, I think it's in a chronological order, basically like... It ought to be... It ought to be here in the south. Oh, sword tech! Let's do the Quadra Slam. Welcome to the Slam, if you want a jam. Auto crossbow... Let's, let's just do the pummel. Uh, let's cure ourselves. There you go. Slam! Slam! Oh. <laughs> well, that's, I'm, I'm fine with that. Celeste gained a level. what the flash looks like. It's a blinding thing. Alright. Didn't affect the guy. So, yeah. I can trust, I, I, I can promise you I'll uh, uh, most likely like uh, not be using the flash all that much. <laughs> but the drill is great. Yeah, there's a town. Great. Uh, Jador. This is Jador, the westernmost town on the world map. Really? Oh, there's a Chocobo ranch or farm. Um, I'm not interested in Chocobo stuff. Um, armor shop. Let's see. Uh, mithril shield. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, ninja gear. All right. White dress, all right. Mithril vest, all right. So let's have two mithril vests, one ninja gear, one white dress. She'll get the 
white dress. Um, oh, whoops. Um, he'll get the ninja gear. Edgar will get the mithril vest, as will Cyan as well. Now, that ought to be a good, or good to go. Okay, let's see what the rest of the town looks like. There's a weapon shop. <laughs> Is it gonna be the case where I've gotten to use my weapons in maybe like one or two battles and uh, it's already like uh, forged? Okay, it's uh, Kaiser Kodachi. Uh, full moon. Uh, uh, let's get the forge. Let's get two Kaisers, and uh, that's it. Um, I can't remember what these are. Oh, they're, they're throwable things. Yeah, yeah uh, if I'm correct. <laughs> uh, no, wait, uh, I bought the, the For Sabin. Uh, Kaiser, Kaiser. Um, and for Cyan, it was the Four. There you go. Oh, constantly upgrading the guy's um, gear. There's an inn, very nice. Uh, hey, little girl. I want to be an opera singer when I grow up. Opera house, it's far to the south. Uh, that's going to be a major, major point later on. Uh, relics, uh, peace ring, uh, protects against berserk. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of re-reading a lot of these things because I have such poor memory. Cast Shell, uh, Cast Safe, uh, Earrings again, True Knight, Sniper Sight. I think everybody has a pretty good array of, um, of relics at the moment. This region is very class conscious. Is this, it, in the south part of town live the middle classes. The rich folks live to the north. Oh. Well. I might have a thing or two to say about that, but let's just keep our mouth shut for now. Uh, a girl wrapped in a fire sped off to the north into the mountains. Oh. Maria, the opera singer, is gorgeous. I'm sure. Uh, auction house. Our today's auction is over. Oh, see the people here? Ho, ho, ho! There's nothing I can't buy. You like art? No? <laughs> Philistines. <laughs> I need something that will bring back a, a wayward spirits. I heard only in the imperial capital of Vector does such a thing exist. You can get some priceless things at this auction. Whether you can appreciate them or not, who knows? Papa, let's buy lots of stuff today, too! <laughs> How could I refuse uh, those cute little eyes? <laughs> okay, and there's some cute dancing ladies there also, too. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I don't want... Well, well, there's a couple of characters still to talk to. The uh, first time I've been here, this ain't the kind of place a poor person usually comes. Hey, you're not from around here. You look, ugh, dorky. <laughs> well, gee, thanks. You're looking at a Magitek knight, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you know, like, who's the dork here? Once in a while, one of the idiots from Zozo wandered down here, looking for an easy mark. Watch your wallet. Yeah, Zozo, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, City of Thieves that we're going to. Uh, Echo Screen, oh, okay, that's same old stuff. Same old stuff, same old story. So what we're gonna do now is that I'm just gonna go to the inn, and I'm gonna rest there, and then I'm gonna go outside the town, and, oh, who are you? Bunch of liars up in Zozo, never can trust them. Well, 
Once we go in there, you'll definitely realize why it's like it's completely fine to like profile those folks when they're basically dressed like train robbers and cutthroats and everything like that. So, uh, 250 GP per night, uh, lights out, hell yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna go sleep and then I'm gonna go grind and we'll pick up from there. All right. Well, I only managed to get everybody up only two levels, which I feel is enough, and the monsters outside weren't giving me all that much XP to begin with, so it was taking a lot of time to even get to those uh, two extra levels, and also the enemies were kind of annoying. Uh, they were basically like these ninjas and these uh, mosquitoes, and the mosquitoes were putting my characters to sleep, and the ninjas were putting my characters under confusion where they were hitting each other, so it was it was definitely not worth <laughs> the kind of long haul as some other places might be, you know. But yeah, let's just uh, science uh, quadra slam. It's just gonna kill all of these guys. Um, and also, uh, Celeste learned uh, a spell called Scan, so she can basically scan somebody and see how many hit points they have, how many, how much MP they have, and so on and so forth. But yeah, now we're heading north to the Sea of Thieves, Zozo. It's a classic place from this game. Hey, rain. No! Oh, preemptive attack! Goddamn giant! Come on, or I didn't do do that. Didn't do too much damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it, it, it seems it did, didn't matter that I didn't grind any more than that. I I must be like kind of over leveled at this point because you know Kefka was so fast and um, you know. Somebody lying on the ground. Don't know if he's been stabbed or if, uh, if he's just a drunk. What uh, gambled the gags? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, now uh, both Celeste and Edgar have like a hundred more. Uh, max HP, so that's very nice. Uh, but they're still definitely the weakest in the group in that on that regard. Yeah, this music is something that often gets you know <laughs> caught in my head. Um, all right, I need to take care of this this guy. I can't remember if he's really rough, but. Just want to make sure, unless, just in case he's somebody who steals items from you. I can't remember which enemies did that, but I do know that there's uh, these kind of veiled dancer kind of um, uh, magicians who are pretty rough, who, are, who have pretty rough spells. So if I run into them, I'll be using uh, Celeste's uh, runic ability. Girl, haven't seen any girls here. Might want to check the top of this building. Huh? Of this building? Yeah, there's. This is the, like a ongoing theme uh, in this in this location. These kind of um, apartment building um, uh, looking places where you get to climb <laughs> climb the towers. But I think it's the tower of the or, or the building that that's the inn that has. Um, Phew! How long you gonna have to do this? Huh? Great people here. It's now 2 a.m. Huh? I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, there! Uh, slam Dancer. I need to focus my uh, attacks on her. Oh, I can't do Ruinic? What is that? Am I wearing like some sort of gear that doesn't let me do that? 
I thought earlier that it was only... I wonder why everybody's like funneling in here. 10 a.m. Time to go home. What? This was like a... Well, yeah, it was an item shop, but... Um, let's see how rough that is. Oh, fuck. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Oh, my God. Well... She's like a gl glass cannon, basically. But yeah, Edgar is missing out on. So yeah, I have 11 Phoenix Downs for situations like that. Yeah, I guess I am um, kind of underpowered in a sense, but then again. Let's see. What's going on? Get in line. It's already 12. Huh? These guys are real conscious about time. Oh, okay. I'm starting to worry that because this place is so... That this... Because this building is so, like, uh... Big, you're jumping between buildings. That this might be the actually the last place you're supposed to go to. I might want to turn around, <laughs> you know, because uh, there's yeah, I think this is because there's all these options. So, uh, use the crane to go down. Yes, thank you. Um, because there's at least one building. Let's, if this guy, uh, oh yeah, this is an item shop, it's labeled as an item shop, but he didn't sell me anything. Um, I might want to get, like, Phoenix Downs if I get the opportunity to grill this guy. So yeah, this is the thing with a lot of locations where it's like if if there's a lot of forks in the road and you're just left guessing which one advances the story and then you can't uh, return, you know, you're left guessing kind of like which places should you go to, you know, to to uh, get any any goodies and like uh, uh, extra content and all that. But I know that there's at least one building where there's um, there's a tool for Edgar, and there's a puzzle to get it. And uh, I want to see if I can figure the puzzle out. I don't have it written down anywhere or anything. In what does he say? This place is dangerous, and don't you dare think about jumping between buildings. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, this is it. Uh, there's a clock. It seems to say, uh, like, uh, that it's four or something. The clock hands have stopped. Please reset the hour. Um, the hour, or it might be, uh, let's, let's, let's try that it's four. Clock's handles have stopped. Please reset the minute. Oh, there isn't one that's upwards. That means that... Oh, and there's 20 past, so it must be that... Uh, yeah, okay. Didn't reset the clock. Okay, so it must be that the clock is like um, 1220 or something. Let's see. 12? Second, second hand... Uh, 20. Okay, and then I need to just guess this. Didn't reset the clock. I'm guessing that the thing I'm missing is the last one, so let's try the last.
last bits. Didn't reset the clock. Uh, I won't be doing this for all that long uh, because it's, it's tedious. So I'm just gonna go. I'll trust that the clock is pointing uh, 20 past 12. Because there wasn't an option to make it like sharp four o'clock, uh, so I'm guessing that the uh, so there's just one more try left, and I can I can look up online how um, how it should have been done, but unless I run into someone, they'll reset the clock. The guys in the um, there should be like a secret passage opening here and there's a chest that has a chainsaw and the chainsaw is a really good you know tool for Edgar but the drill is so good as well it's like it's it does basically the same thing that the drill does except that there's an added effect that it's uh, it, it can like randomly cause death if I remember correctly but it's not like uh, it's like oh super unfair if I don't get it, but, you know, it's, it would be nice, but a lot of things would be nice. The drill is already quite nice. Now, let's go to the inn. Uh, clock second hand's pointing at 30. Okay. Okay, so the second hand is pointing 30. I'm writing this crap down. Right? So I already had that wrong because I said it was 20 past it. So maybe there's, uh, maybe this building has like the hints. Oh shit, just quickly, 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 clear. Oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe this place has it as a thing that the hints are um, spread out here. Then you go to the other building. Oh, whoa, 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 And then you go to the other building, and then the uh, item shops upstairs where you're jumping between buildings is the one that advances the story. That's that's my uh, thinking, at least. But we'll see. We'll see. It's not like I <laughs> I haven't been wrong before. Let's see, was there a... All right. What's this? All right, come on now, come on now. Take care of the slam dancer. Harvester. Are there bags full of organs or something? That would be quite grim. <laughs> but then again, these uh, Final Fantasy games uh, sometimes go into pretty grim places. A tincture. Okay. Uh, uh, rusted shut. Alright, so. Let's take care of that. Harvester. Save it. The beefiest boy around. Let's go ahead and. Also, uh, it's like uh, it's nice that Celeste's uh, MP has risen quite a bit. It's now uh, 147 uh, at, at max, and that's real. Doesn't seem to 
it doesn't let me go either route, so that looked like a dead end to me. I don't know what the point of all those signs of like uh, item shops and uh, armor shops and all that point is when there's no such thing. clear map in my head about this place right now, so there might be... There might be some... Um... Oh, I shouldn't have... A... Oh. oh no. Ah. Thankfully, it's like self-destruction um, uh, ability wasn't even... See, this is the point. I face a freaking giant and it does like self-destruct thing that hits everybody and it's not even a big deal. Like maybe it's because I healed everybody just now, but uh, but still it's like uh, the uh, spells that the slam dancer was like uh, casting my way were way rougher. I wonder how one gets there. No, I, uh, I did visit there. I did go there. Come on now. Oh yeah, I get a second chance. Uh, let's see. I wanna do... I wanna suplex the big son of a bitch. Yeah, like slamming Andre. Hell yeah, and he died from it. I suplexed him to death. <laughs> a giant killer. All right. I'm wondering now... Um, if I should go and attempt the uh, puzzle again, so that now that I know that the second handle is at th on 30, or should I look for more clues? But then the thing is, uh, if I go to that. Let's see, is there anything here? No. Let's see. Let's see. Please reset the hour. So I've already... Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Let's say it's 10. And the second handle was at 30. And 50. Didn't reset. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry about this. 10. 30. 40. I'm gonna do the same thing as I did last time to where once I've gone through all the uh, third handle things I'm gonna give up again. <laughs> Didn't reset the clock. See this is the thing. Uh, you could call this a puzzle but this is just about like patience of you could go through all the combinations. You could do that. Don't worry, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna do um, this didn't reset the clock, so screw it. If I happen to run into more hints, I might return, uh, but yeah. Yeah, drill the guy. What is it? Hades? Hades Gigas. Hades Gigas. Oh, it's... Make right the earth tremble. Well, like I give a damn. I'm gonna run out of MP though, so I need to use uh, what was it? Uh, elixir. Yeah, but elixirs are super good. So, what was a remedy? Cures all status alignment. Okay, I don't have any more of those MP reviving things, and I'm in a place where, um, where there's no, like, sleeping... Oh, no, no, what am I talking about? Tincture, that's the thing. So let's do that. Then there went all my tinctures, but then again, we're in a place where 
one would want to save those items for, you know. Girl? Haven't seen any girls here. Might want to check the top of this building. All right. Already talked to him before, but just wanted to make sure if there was like an opportunity to hear further hints about the clock possible. Then again, why was I looking at the uh, face of the clock when I was winding it? Because if it stopped, why why would it have stopped at the time that it is now, you know? Well, of course, it's possible, but, you know. Uh, how, uh, phew, how long do we have to do this? Uh, great people here. It's now 2 a.m. It's now 2... Uh, time? It's four. What? These don't necessarily mean anything. Uh, you can't trust me. It's eight. <laughs> okay. Who can I trust? Ten. Time to go home. Everybody's saying different. Uh, great people here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you guys were all untrustworthy. Maybe. No, I did try. Ten was the thing that I tried last time. So. Let's be rid of the slam dancer. It's not very, um. It's not a very, uh, complimentary title to be slam dancer. Is that. That's a. That's like a. You know how strippers say that they're a dancer or or things like that, you know. <laughs> Slap dancing. Oh. Excuse my good in line. Excuse my poor sense of humor or that even the If I only had the technology to edit out bad jokes. Oh shit. Oh thankfully it was like a since it was spread among everybody, it's like nobody got hurt seriously, but, but man, I'm gonna be, okay, need to be kind of uh, conscious of not running out of, um... okay, let's go all the way up as far as we can here. Thief glove. Uh, yeah, we can't go any further than that. Can't go any further than that. Yeah. Just auto cross bow these dudes. That ought to do it. In order to get to those upper levels, I'll need to jump between buildings. Oh. Uh, drill. Oh. Let's try and suplex the guy if I have the time. Kind of undignified, I so can see your panties. Mr. Gigas, Hades Gigas. Hades Corpus. All right, so. Go. Where does this lead? Oh, take care of it. No, bolt two. Who? No. Oh, okay. It's this again. But yeah, you can see I just healed everybody up, and Edgar is already at 119, so that's no joke. Uh, at this point, I think I'm going to start using. Use up the tonics first. Uh, I might want to start using potions because um, yeah, I'm getting kind of anxious. Ooh, tincture, nice. Uh, the 
second hand of my watch is pointing at force. Second hand of my watch? I already was told that the second hand is at 30. You sons of bitches. I can't trust none of y'all. Uh, fire 2, come on now. Well, thankfully again, it was on saving. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, the other path that led to this guy here behind the counter. Well, what do you have to say? The, sec uh, the seconds? They're divisible by 20. Ah, uh, so there. The third thing is uh, divisible by 20. Okay. Jesus Christ. It's like with all these hints, it's still going to just lead to me. Um... Whoa, Sabin has like over a thousand max HP. That's incredible. I really ought to like, I think I'm gonna um, do this already just so I don't forget. Whoops, not equip, but I relic. I'm going to, um, it was the black belt that uh, um, that, that uh, makes you do the counter attack, I think. I'm gonna give him true knight instead. Let's just, yeah, randomly counter attacks. I can't have him do the counter attack when we encounter a boss here. Because we're going to encounter a boss who isn't that tough unless you hit him with a regular strike. If you hit him with a regular strike, he counterattacks with incredible power. And uh, I can always just use my special abilities and spells, but if somebody has counterattack, they're gonna do it, you know, without my control, so I need to do that. And True Knight is a good fit for somebody who has over 1000 <laughs> HP. So yeah, let's... Okay, time to jump here. Here. Whoops. Again, Slam Dancers. Oh, Bolt. Thankfully, even though it was on a single target, it didn't kill Celeste. My god. Slam dancers are too much. Um, so yeah, let's just keep on curing. Yeah, everybody's at max HP right now. Thankfully, I have those sprint shoes. All right, let's just use regular ass attacks because these guys are pretty weak. It's it's it. It doesn't do anything but take more time to use special attacks on a nice carpet. Be a shame if somebody walked on it with wet, muddy boots coming from outside, leaping on buildings and such. But as if I care. There he is, there's the boss. Let's see where this leads. Fire Knuckle. Is it better than the Kaiser? Yeah, it is. Already, like, everything getting obsolete so quickly in this game. Urgh, Hades Gaitis. <laughs> Lightweight, baby! Nothing but a peanut. now so here we go good day gentle folks can I be of service I hate fighting so I'd better let you pass <laughs> as if watch <laughs> it's like oh look at that beef all right so 
So no regular attacks. No regular attacks. Let's see if he lets me. Oh yeah, hell yeah! There you go. I, I mean, you know, why, why should I bitch and moan if the enemies are, you know, easy to beat, but... Yeah. I don't know, like, like uh, coming across the Slam Dancers again, like, they were like glass cannons and stuff, but, yeah, I guess I'm over-leveled. I guess I'm over-leveled can't be helped, but then again, it's something that I earned through work. Oh, well, let's just defend. I'm ha I've had enough of uh, suplexing you guys. Let's just beat your kneecaps in. There you go. Um. Sore loser. All right, all right. So now we're getting to the point where the story can finally continue. And here we go. There's a couple of sh 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 running shoes. X potion. What is? What's the running shoes? Is it a relic? Yeah. Casts haste. Oh, that's really nice. And now that the boss is done, I'm gonna re-equip the black belt. Uh, somebody might really enjoy the... Um... No, actually, I think everybody has a pretty good set of relics, except maybe Sprint Shoes, Hyper Wrist. What did Hyper Wrist do? Uh, let's see if... Yes, Running Shoes. Uh, uh, the um, Hyper Wrist was raises vigor. I'll keep the uh, Running Shoes. <laughs> he has Sprint Shoes and Running Shoes <laughs> for for each occasion, but I haste is really nice, at least in Final Fantasy VII, I found it to be incredibly useful. Here we go. I don't know who's talking. Uh, let's say it's, uh, it's... Let's say it's Edgar. He's most likely the leader character here. This sucks always, you know. Uh, Terra. Terra. She's scared, you know. Who are you? This girl is your friend. Is Terra all right? You call her Terra? Terra, how odd. <laughs> yeah, this, this guy is called Rabu, the same as the summon in Final Fantasy uh, Seven, the big, uh, you know, judgment bolt guy, you know. She is undamaged, but I fear she can't understand you. As for me, I am Ramu, the Esper Ramu. Esper? But don't Espers live in another world? That doesn't mean we don't live here, too. Espers take a variety of forms. Sometimes we live here taking the shape of humans. You have nothing to fear from us. 
Why don't you hide the fact that you're an es you're espers? Humans and espers can't survive together. But grandmother, but grandmother once uh, told me that espers and people once lived side by side. Was that just a fairy tale? No, that was no fairy tale. That was true. We started out as friends. Then along came the War of the Magi. War of the Magi? It took place long ago. Espers found humans who were infused with magical power extracted from Espers. Fearing our magical powers would once again become a target, we fashioned a new realm and moved there. About 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon it. Humans who knew about Espers and the secret of... Thus began a hunt for Espers. Only in this way could Emperor Gestalt create his invincible army. In response to this, we erected a doorway and threw humans out. Even as we speak, many of my kind are trapped in the Emperor Empire's Magitek Research Facility, being drained of their powers, I fled here to avoid a similar fate. That's right, relax. I sense that Terra was in trouble. My magic summoned her here. Terra's an Esper? No, she's actually quite different. Terra looks like she's in pain. Her very existence strikes fear into her own heart. How can we help her? When she accepts this aspect of herself, I think she'll be alright. We have to do something. Then free those of my kind imprisoned in Gestalt's Magitek research facility. One of them can surely help her. If we find the Magitek research facility, you're sure we'll find your people? Magitek research facility, your people are... Like a coward, I escaped leaving the others there. I'll be the e it'll be the end of them. What do you mean? Gestalt's methods are incorrect. You can't drain a live Esper of all its power. It is only when we are reduced to magicite that our abilities can be transferred in total. Pardon? When we transform into Magicite, our power can be relocated. Ma Magicite? That's what's left of us when we pass away. The 
these are my comrades who fell while escaping the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. Man, are you really gone? Magicite. He traded his power so that others might live. Why are you doing this? We few can help save many. The war of the Magi must not be repeated. Receive the Magicite Rabu. Receive the Magicite Stray. Receive the Magicite Siren. Receive the Magicite Kirin. These are basically the summons in this game. Terra, wait for us. We'll be back. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I guess it's Locke speaking. Everyone here, I was thinking, let's talk on the way. The Empire is trying to drain magic from Espers. This can't be true. Hmm. I don't remember because I was asleep when they augmented me. But I've heard rumors to that effect. Then we're going in. We'd best split into two groups. We still need to beef up our defenses in Nash. Indeed. I'll go to the Empire. I know it well. Uh, but alone? Don't worry, I'll go with her. Look. You need a hand? Ah, oh, shit. I need to take um, a lock, so that means I'm taking the brothers. I'm taking the brothers. I don't want to go without them. Sorry, Cyan. You're awesome and all. And sorry, Gao, but I don't like your ability. So, uh, But that, that, that does mean that lock is on level 14. So that's that sucks. I'm going to have to grind once again. Uh, but yeah... I, I think I might come back into this place and uh, grind here once that's done. And between the game sessions, I'm going to look up what the actual combination to the clock is going to be so that I can grab the chainsaw. So, you know, I don't want to miss that. So. Please wait for us in Nash. We'll find our way back safely. If you wish to change group members, Head for Nash. So, how are we going to get there? The Empire is on the continent to the south. No boats go there. The people of G uh, Gido, at a town to the south, can probably help us. Look! Yes? Why are you coming with me? We're... There's bound to be a treasure there. And besides, I've always wanted uh, an inside look at the Empire. <laughs> Wink. Alright. Uh, well, I don't want to quit 
just yet. I want to go, now that I have Locke with me, um, I want to go and see, first I'm going to save. I want to go see if, now that Locke is with me, if there's any change in the characters in the town where they constantly say that Locke visits the place. And, uh, but yeah, I need to... I learned from uh, the grinding that I really need to take care of these guys before um, before uh, 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 they get to do their confusion thing on me because it's really rough. They can just like toss these stones that hit everybody, and then anybody that didn't like just manage to dodge it is gonna become confused. They're gonna start spinning around and they're gonna start hitting their allies and. Nothing hits harder than, you know, these characters that I've, <laughs> with hard work, <laughs> you know, beefed up uh, as much as possible, you know. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. So, let's go if on the way... Oh, well, let's see actually if I have anything that is better for a uh, lock. A thief's knife, yeah. Mithril shield, yeah. Head, uh, yeah. Iron helmet, body. Mithril vest, very nice, very nice. And what about the relics? He doesn't have any. A thief's glove changes steel into capture. Oh, that sounds nice, even though I don't know what it means. I, I'll want to try if it's like a beefed up version of it. Uh, no, not true. Not spirit shoot, sprint shoes. Oh, it's not sprint. I hope that you're all right. Thanks to this berserk, raises magic damage more powerful. Uh, raises vigor, raises success of sneak. Raises success of sneak. Okay, well, this just means that he's gonna be very, like, um, streamlined and focused. He has two relics that both beef up his uh, stealing, so let's try it out. Capture. Oh, okay, so he basically steals and hits somebody. That's nice. That's nice. I don't know if um, Edgar is right now like under some sort of like he's under some sort of condition where where he has that red outline, uh, but I don't know if it's something that's making him, you know, slower or you know, do minimum damage or I don't know. Let's just have the witch, these guys. Capture stuff and do the auto crossbow. But yeah. The thing is that, yeah, we need to get to that research facility, but I, from what I remember, that's a really rough place. But no worries, it doesn't come quite yet. Lock gained a level. Nice. Uh, it, first, there's going to be one of the if not the most, like, memorable and classic moment in this entire game coming up, uh, where we're going to have to, uh, take part in an opera. Let's just be done with these guys. Um, there. Soft. Let's just be done with y'all. Just die. Just die. Huh? <sighs> that was a short one. <laughs> Come on. Okay, capture. Auto crossbow. Soft, a lot of softs. I haven't been petrified once uh, by enemies, but still I have more softs than I can ever find the use for. Well, I can always sell them, but then again, the, the uh, one side with the whole grinding business is that you become pretty loaded with money. Oh, mind candy? What the? 
weird names. But yeah, well, a shrubbery is now a uh, mind candy. Uh, over grunk. <laughs> yeah, you know, some of these names, you know. Oh, by the way, I I uh, I now have the, uh, the 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 summons. I might as well now that I'm on the way here, you know, try them out and see what they look like. I know that the Ramu one is definitely like lightning damage, but let's see. Um, uh, is it on the relic side? No. Uh, is it on equip side? Uh, optimum. No. Um, items. Oh, so many old weapons. Uh, I wonder where they are. Uh, espers. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. This is how. Um, Oh, Lightning Elemental Attack, Kirin is gradually recovers HP, Siren silences enemies, Stray confuses enemies. Okay, uh, I might want to, like, who does, like, um... No, no, <laughs> um, okay, let's give Celeste the one that gradually... Oh yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Um, when you equip one of these uh, 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 summons, these espers, you also learn um, you also learn like um, uh, uh, spells and abilities from using them. So it's good to equip them early and use them. Especially if I'm going to be grinding lock, I'm go most likely going to be getting new abilities. Uh, let's give the lightning damage one to to Edgar. Let's give him Ramu. There. Um, then let's give Locke. Uh, well, Siren silences enemies, confuses enemies. That sounds like a Locke thing to do, maybe? I don't know. Uh, some of these might not come into... Whoops. Come into um, use all that much. Siren silences enemies. Well, fire is there as well. Why not? Why not? I could always, like, uh, give them to the same character. I might actually do that. I might want to have Celeste also learn uh, fire. So, let's... Oh, what am I doing here? Um, Espers, let's... No, I, I just want to... Now, Celeste, Esper. Oh, is it that you can only hold one? Okay, well, in that case, that case, yeah. Let's then have that. Maybe we'll learn later that you can have multiple or something. But yeah, here's the town. But I want to see. I want to see the Espers. I want to see them all. Let's go through them all and then go to the town. All right, magic. Uh, no, wait, wait. No, wait, where? Magic. Oh, Esper Siren, there. Hope Song. Okay. Uh, Esper Stray. Catrain. Oh, it's Kate Sith! <laughs> so. Alright. Uh, magic Kirin. This is the healing thing. Lifeguard. Oh. Oh, very nice. It, it affects everyone. And then Ramu, maybe Ramu is gonna kill all of these guys. Bolt Fist. It's not Judgment Bolt this time, but Bolt Fist. <laughs> oh, wasn't wasn't very uh, strong. 
maybe it's again the thing that I'm over leveled at this point to where that should have been like oh cool badass like he did 200 damage when my guys are like doing double slashes where a single slash does like 600 <laughs> it's like, you know again I'm like shooting myself in the foot the boss battles feel anticlimactic and newfound wondrous abilities feel underwhelming you know so can't blame anyone but myself, but then again, trying to get good at this, you know. Uh, so, uh, was it this building? Yeah, let's see if Locke has something to say here. Oh, is that you, Locke? It's been a while. Oh, that! Worry not, your treasure's quite safe. <laughs> oh, is that it? I used some herbs to put her into suspended animation. She won't age a day. <laughs> That's what you wanted, right? Had to use my herbs, I did. Rachel. You mean those herbs have actually saved her? Oh, of course! The love of your life will sleep here like this forever. <laughs> what, if this, what if there were some way to call her back? If you could call her back, she'd come back! <laughs> I'm sure you'll find something that'll bring her around. <laughs> He's a maniac. I failed here. Lock. Nothing more than that, but at least it's a, it's a little moment for luck. Yeah. So basically it is Mr. Freeze <laughs> kind of thing. Well, I don't know what, what uh, basically ailment or something, you know, struck her, but she's in suspended animation where she won't age a day. So I can't recall what it actually was, you know, the reason, but one would think at this this point with that kind of explanation that they're talking about some sort of deadly disease or some sort of fatal injury or something of that sort. So yeah, I'm gonna save here and I'm gonna grind lock up a little bit um, and uh, I'm gonna continue next time after the grinding is done and then we'll head on onward to the Opera House!